Kendall Robard is about to perform on the uneven parallel bars. Has had a fine, very solid meet. Very consistent scoring. Oh. And that's her first big mistake. <laughs> She's on the bubble at 15th place. Remember, the top 14 qualified to the U.S. Championships. She only needs to score a little bit more than an 8-0 to meet the minimum score of 33-5. So that is very unfortunate because now her fate is in the hands of the judges. She went for a release move, which unfortunately she was set up a little wrong because Oof. the preceding element didn't finish close enough the handstand to allow her to set up her release combination the way she wanted. That's unfortunate. Brittany Ramsey among the contenders with only the vault left. All of her scores in that 8-1 to 885 range. Pretty solid. Oh, and there's a great looking ball. Yurchenko one and a half twist, and she finished it effortlessly and just landed cleanly. Michaela Stambaugh. Uh, also uh, one of the higher ranking competitors here as she comes to her final event. Nice looking release move. That's called a Jaeger salt, though. It's a front somersault. After a gymnast from Germany named Jaeger. Very nice. Clean dismount. Kyla Stumball. And now our first look at uh, this young competitor, Kimberly Kleberg, who comes from a, an outfit called the Kurt Thomas Gymnastics School. It's down there near Dallas, Texas, and Kurt Thomas, of course, America's first world champion ever, and the inventor of the Thomas Flair. What would the uh, Connor move be? Well, I did a move on the parallel bars that was named after me for a while, but it's too easy to do now. People, <laughs> for them, they warm up with it. Now, so. <laughs> the Connor contusion named after my <laughs> partner. <laughs> like her style. Kurt has a program down there in Texas that's not atypical anymore these days. The gymnasts who work in his group need to be homeschooled, and uh, they're in the gym from about uh, 9 to 4. It's a whole day's work. And uh, Kurt uh, is there every minute with him, so he's that's doing a good job. Boy, it certainly shows. you've been pointing out you're really impressed with this new crop of women coming up through the ranks the juniors aged 11 through 15. I'm so impressed with their fitness level yeah. they can do high level difficulty oh that was just unfortunate because she had that yeah she had a great routine running still does Kimberly Klebaugh Back to the bars, this is Deandra Smith. Her organization, the Aerial Athletics, coached by Heather, or rather Heather Schnelzer. She's having a good day. 8-2-5 in the vault, 8-8 eight, eight on beam, 8-8-5 eight, eight, on floor. She could finish right up there today if she can hit a clean routine here. Nice release move. Coach almost turned an ankle coming off the mat a moment ago. <laughs> the coaches are allowed to spot on the uneven bar. That's the one event where there is no deduction if the coach steps in to spot one of those release moves. Nice well, routine. Happy. Yeah. So we're in the fourth rotation and starting to get a feel for where they may wind up in the scoring. This should be fun. Ivana Hong on the floor exercise. We have to use the close-up lens to get in on her. She is a <laughs> tiny little thing. But watch her perform and watch this beginning routine. She had a 9-3-2-5 on the beam. She is great. Woo! Oh, oh, way out of bounds. Beautiful high bike double somersault. Someone 
so tiny can generate so much power. You know, I, I've been meaning to make this point with you. I do a, a lot of figure skating with JoJo Starbuck, and, and when we see the younger skaters there, she will point out that you don't see the great leaps from the younger skaters because of the building musculature. But here with these young women in gymnastics, we're already seeing some great tumbling and, and jumping ability. What I'm also impressed with is her presentation ability for... Yeah, fluid. Yeah. Interesting choice. I think that's a French... Uh, composition we're listening to clean double and out of bounds again ah, that'll hurt look at that oh. <laughs> you can do that huh Lou? yeah <laughs> once fed once just once i get to it once on the way to the hospital to the bars megan blair the texas dreams gymnasium she almost lost that handstand. She covered well. She's the young lady who works at Kim Zemeskel's program in Texas. Texas, one of the hotbeds for gymnastics in the U.S., along with Southern California, Florida, Pennsylvania, Florida. Good-looking dismount. Player. Austin Phobes, as they like to say, has her own destiny in her own hands here. And she li quite literally, Bart wants to avoid a slip as she starts out on the bars. She's right on the cusp. Stands 14th after three exercises. This is her fourth event. And this for a chance to go to nationals. Just ahead of Kindo Robarts, who we just saw fall from the bars, she is, she can score a little bit, just a little less than an 8.0. She would have enough to meet the qualifying <laughs> score. <laughs> she doesn't seem too uptight about it, does she? I don't think she knows what that means yet. <laughs> <laughs> Here she goes. It's a long way to go from one bar to the other. I was just thinking. <laughs> and you got to go uphill. Oh, she's strong. Oh, boy, she casts up to those handstands wow. so aggressively. Look at that. Boom. Mm -hmm. Perfect straight. Perfectly straight. Oh, look at that huge release oh. combination. And a transition to the lower bar that any gymnast without that kind of strength would have just peeled right off. Man, that's great. Full pirouette, just a little over the handstand. Needs to finish right near the handstand for no deductions. Wow. All right, she'll make it. Austin Phobes nails it. Oh, and she <laughs> knows it. And now you do see that she knows the pressure or the meaning of pressure. And a nice release and more ways than one at the end. Uh, that's great. Yeah, that's that full pirouette. A little bit past the handstand, but she hung on, and then she... Popped a good mm. layout pike double at the end, and that will be enough for her to secure a spot into the USA Nationals. Monica Soji has performed three events. This is the vault. Her only low scoring event today for her was the bar 7725. Well, that's not bad. That's a simple laid out your chenko vault but for a tiny little gymnast that's pretty good work and that concludes the fourth rotation uh, the competition is complete but now the judging begins the top 14 move on to nationals we'll be back with the final results from rochester right after this